On my weight loss journey with OMAD, strength training was no stranger to me. I definitely incorporated strength training while I was doing my intense version of intermittent fasting, known as one meal a day, which is fasting for 20 hours a day and eating within a four hour eating window. But the strength training I did was different. So I wanna talk about strength training with OMAD and how to do it. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Daniel Joy and I made this transformation. I lost the majority of my weight with keto and keto OMAD. I found the most success on my weight loss journey combining keto with intermittent fasting OMAD style. I started my weight loss journey off at 282 pounds and it was a struggle, but I had the mindset of knowing that this wasn't a quick fix. It was a mindset of understanding that this is a lifestyle. And when you are changing your life, it's going to take time. Now, if you have the mindset that I need to lose weight within three days quickly, you're never going to lose weight because your mindset is too much on the temporary and it's not on the long term. And the long term is the permanent. That's why weight loss results happen. Anyway, let's get into today's video, strength training with OMAD. Right, you do not want to start a new strength training program. And when I say new, anything that's intense. With one meal a day, the type of strength training you're doing is strength training where you can easily recover from. You want to do more high reps with a lower intensity. So using machines is a great tool, body weight exercises, maybe like free weight exercises with some weight in dumbbells. So while I was losing weight with OMAD, I used mainly machines. I used the lat pull down, I used the cable row machine, I used the cables, and I adjusted the weight accordingly. I was not bench pressing 250 pounds. I was not squatting 250 pounds. I was doing light workouts. I was doing weights that I felt the burn in my muscle, but not to the point where I was sore the next day. So it's important to understand that. Now, incorporating weight training with one meal a day, it has to be done when you get acquainted with one meal a day. So I highly recommend first working on getting used to fasting like that. And when you get used to fasting like that, the easiest type of exercises to do is light cardio, low impact steady state cardio, things like walking, elliptical, nothing too crazy where you're keeping your heart rate in zone one to zone two cardio. So that's key. And then as you get more adapted to OMAD, let's say a month later or two, that is when you can start adding light resistance training. But you don't want to do anything too taxing. You don't want to do hit cardio or anything. So with my journey with one meal a day, I started weight training after two to three months. So I started my journey with OMAD in September and I didn't start weight training fully until November and it was very light weight training. So I took a couple months to adapt. I was moving my body, but it was light exercising and walking. So I hope that makes sense. I will go into details once I learn more. I'm currently, currently taking my personal training certification, but I pretty much nailed it right. You want to do more higher reps and a lighter weight. You want to feel the pump in the muscle, but you don't want to be so taxed that you're sore days on days on end. Because if you're sore days on days on end, you're not going to stick to the diet. And that's not how we do it. OMAD is not a diet that you use to build muscle. Nah, -uh. it's a diet to cut. It's a diet to lose weight. There are better diets you can do and lose weight in order to build muscle, but OMAD is not it. Me, I'm a freak of nature. I have a lot of muscle. I did keto OMAD and I've been exercising and training for years, but it's really good to incorporate strength training with intermittent fasting if you do it correctly. You don't want to be exhausting yourself. And why? Because when you introduce strength training, it tightens up your skin. It gets rid of the cellulite. It shapes your body. The kitchen is where we lose weight. Building muscle is where we sculpt our body. But again, with OMAD, your focus should be weight loss with weight training. Once you get a lot of weight off, then you can manipulate your OMAD where you're doing it every other day or you're doing a two mad, two mad's probably better way to build muscle because with two mad, 
you are eating before you work out, whenever you work out, but you're eating in the morning. And when you eat in the morning, you are going to front load your metabolism because your body is going to utilize those calories throughout the day. And when you eat in the morning, your body digests food better. Anyway, I hope that helps. If you made it this far into the video, just type in the word muscle and I'm sending you guys my lab. Take care. Bye.